Hey guys, so let me show you how you create a uh, uh, playable ad from a simple video with our newest functionalities and modules that we have. So let me open my video. As you can see, it's too large, so I will use our compress mechanism in this case. And in this video, I will be showing you the uh, video that is actually for a landscape let's say game or or that will be primarily landscape but mode but we will i will show you how to set up different things so it's working for you so if i now switch this view and i play the video for you you basically see what the video is about it's uh, just a simple gameplay with some animations in the beginning and in the end so what I would like to do first is to introduce some sort of uh, uh, text in the beginning. So some sort of welcoming for the user. So for this, I would use permanent overlay, which uh, I need to set up from what time to which time it needs to be selected. So I want it to be present almost all this introduction time. So I see that the layout is around 4.5. So let me actually put it from zero or from five milliseconds to, to 4,000 milliseconds. And what I need to add there is I want to add their text. Let's say, can you survive at least uh, five seconds? OK. And actually, let me switch the global font for the other texts as well. So let's use, oh, I don't like this one, but I can use, for example, okay, let's go with this one. Let me make some adjustments. And of course, this one is, let's say, too little or too small. So I want the size of the text to be, let's set it for two. And uh, what it, this will be doing is that this is a permanent overlay. So this overlay will be shown from five milliseconds to four uh, seconds, and it will just show this uh, show this text. Uh, I want this text to somehow you know popped up to the user. So I will set up the uh, transparency animation, and I will set it that the target is one, and the beginning uh, transparency is zero. And in the transparency settings, I would set the duration for one second. Now, what it will do is when I trigger it, you see how it basically flashed, and I need to get rid of the repeat. So again, let me try to play it. So now the, the text basically was visualized very nicely too. Okay, what else? Let me add a break at when exactly when the permanent overlay is ending. So if you remember, we set it for 4, 2000. So let's do it for 4005. You see that this uh, order of these elements already switched. So there will be first this overlay, and then there will be break. For the break, I would like to have a very simple thing. I would like to use it to actually uh, to actually start the game. So I would add a simple button here with the text start now. Okay, let me do it with capital letters. Start now. Again, uh, this is using the general font. So this is, this is, I don't need to change it anymore, but I want the text to be larger. Uh, so for example, to start now, uh, you can calibrate the text a little bit, but this should do quite well. Again, I would like to set up the same uh, animation so it will be from uh, zero to one so it will slowly fade in and let me add some um, some hand element as well so this is uh, this is our hand let me set the transparency as well and what I would like to do is I would like to make the uh, and smaller so the image size can be like half uh, and I want as a position animation as well 
very easily. I could just trigger it on and make it like this. Okay, this should be now working quite all right. And what this will do, I need to set an action. So while this text on the permanent overlay had set up action as no action, it just shows and the video continues. The break action uh, needs to have this action set for resume video. So it will be waiting for user to actually click on this element and then the video continues. What happens afterwards if I play the video now? So then the, the game itself is happening afterwards. So let me add another screen that will be not another overlay that it's called hold to play. Now the hold to play will be from time, let's say 4,200 milliseconds. You can always then tweak it a little bit to, let's say, it's actually interesting, where should this be ending? So the gameplay ends at around, at around, 11,000 and a half. Okay. So let me set this for 11,500. And basically what I need to add there is, uh, I want two things to be added. I want this kind of joystick. So the user understand that he needs to actually hold something and play around. But this is just a visual guide for me. So for this one, I would like to set as a no action. But I would like to add another, uh, let's say, asset. Uh, it, it will be this hand again. With Again, I will make it smaller. But I will trigger path animation for it. Path animation means that you can select from different paths. Rectangle, ellipsis, infinity. In this case, I would stick with infinity. I will make the the as a larger or the place where the, you know, this triggers the area where user actually needs to hold it. And uh, I will make this area, uh, actually smaller. Okay. And even the hand can be like this. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? So we have our hand. We have uh, our video and let me try to play it now. So there's our permanent overlay. There's our start now button. And now this is waiting for my movement. Now I set it for uh, hold to play, which now I see was a mistake. So if I go back to this overlay and see the hand, it should be move to play. So hold to play, the Playable is waiting for user to actually hold the screen. With move to, move to play, it's waiting for the user to actually move his hand around. So if I now stop moving, if I, even if I'm holding, the playable is not continuing. And the last but not least thing that we need is the end screen. So let me add end screen. Let me add it somewhere in the end. So it's going to be when the game actually finishes, so around 1,700. And basically what it will be, it will be two kind of sprites. So there will be some images. So in this case for horizontal, for landscape only, it's going to be this one. And I will actually add the same so I can just duplicate it and I will do the same for portrait, but I have a different image for portrait. So this means that on portrait, I will have, you know, different, different image shown. And let me add also, actually, let's get rid of this. Let me also add the button. I already have one here. So just to simplify things, I can just copy, paste it here. Uh, and I can change it for download. Again, I can change the, the button to be somewhere here. 
on portraits okay this is fine but it should be larger on uh, on portraits so this one should be working as well um what else do we need to set up this can be technically it what i can add more is i can add another let's say asset that can be my uh, game icon again i can make it smaller so this can be our game icon and voila there we have our end card uh most important things on end card is that the actions here are set for you need to set them for open store url so all of the assets on the end card are set for open store url and uh, now i have basically a couple of uh, a couple of things to check but this is already like a ready template for you, ready playable ad that has got some interactions, some text, uh, users, you know, waiting for user to interact with the ad. He's moving along and then, of course, he's shown the, the end card. And, uh, and that's it. So thank you, guys. Uh, if anything, contact us and see you.